Hello and welcome back to Aliena's Kitchen where today we're going to be making these adorable little polar bears. This is going to be for our boozy hot chocolate or if you want to keep this kid friendly just subtract the booze. Either way they're going to be topped with these adorable little treats. So let's get started. Okay so to start with making our little polar bears you need three different types of marshmallows. We need a jumbo, a regular, and then our mini. So to start with, I have my jumbo marshmallow and I actually cut this in half because they're pretty jumbo. And what I'm gonna do is I have just a bit of white chocolate that I melted up in the microwave, taking it out every few seconds and stirring it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little white chocolate and put it on my marshmallow. Okay. And next thing I'm going to do is add in my medium marshmallow to make our nose and I'll put another dab of white chocolate on our nose and then I have a brown M&M which I'm just gonna place in the center there we go and the next thing our polar bear needs is some eyes so I'm gonna put some white chocolate where I feel like the eyes should be And the last thing our polar bear needs is some ears. So on the side, I'm gonna put some white chocolate. And this is when I'm gonna take my mini marshmallows and just stick these on the side. I like to press them in and maybe hold them there for a second or two so that they don't slide off with the white chocolate. And here we have our beautiful little polar bears. Now on to our hot chocolate. So I actually have on Aliena's Kitchen a different hot chocolate that I made a few weeks ago that is absolutely delicious and this is pretty much the same recipe with just a few tweaks. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my stove top on to about medium heat and today I have two cups of whole milk which I'm just going to add in. If you want you can use almond milk or any milk substitute of your choice. Some people like to add in some heavy cream and I do this with a lot of hot chocolates as well because it adds that extra creaminess factor. But I find that whole milk is naturally a pretty heavy milk so I'm just letting it be today. And I realized I forgot a whisk. Thank you very much. All right now I have my whisk. And at this point, I'm also gonna add in my sugar. You can use anywhere from one to two teaspoons of sugar. I'm going on the lighter side today and just putting in one, just cause we have a lot of chocolate and marshmallows and whipped cream. I feel like we have enough sugar in this. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this until it gets nice and warm and starts to have little bubbles on it. And then I'll add in my chocolate. Now that my milk is nice and hot and steaming and has little bubbles all around the edges of it, I'm going to add in my chocolate. So today I have two ounces of dark chocolate that I'm just gonna add in as well as two ounces of milk chocolate. There we go. And now we're just gonna stir this together until all the milk and dark chocolate has melted and it has that beautiful, lovely consistency of hot chocolate. My hot chocolate is now finished. So what I'm just gonna do is start scooping it into my mug today. And then you can't have a traditional polar bear without the booze, so we still have to add that in. Now the last thing I'm going to add into my hot chocolate is my Irish Baileys. So I'm going to be adding just one ounce of Baileys in as well as one ounce of peppermint schnapps. This is the perfect hot chocolate because you'll get a sugar high as well as a buzz going. Best of both worlds, huh? Now that my hot chocolate is nice and boozy, I can add in my final few steps. So today what I did is I froze my whipped cream in the freezer for about an hour. And so it comes out in like this nice round disc that's now starting to melt. And I also have my little polar bear, which I'm just gonna put on top. And now, is that not the cutest hot chocolate you've ever seen? Now the best part, getting to taste it. This hot chocolate is absolutely delicious and I hope you like it and think so as well. And if you do, please let me know in the comments below what you think and don't forget to share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.